हेलो एवरी वन रम्य असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ सी एस सी डिपार्टमेंट फ्रम रोहिणी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट कोर्स सी एस एट सेवन नाइन टू क्रिप्टोग्राफी एंड नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी यूनिट फाइव टॉपिक आई पी सिक्योरिटी आई पी सिक्योरिटी इज ए कैपेबिलिटी दैट कैन बी एडेड टू आई दर कारंट वर्जन ऑफ द इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल आई पी वी फोर और आई पी वी सिक्स बाई मीन्स ऑफ अडिशनल हेडर्स आई पी सिक्योरिटी एंड कैंपस थ्री फंक्शन एरियाज ऑथेंटिकेशन कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी एंड की मैनेजमेंट authentication makes use of the hmac message authentication code authentication can be applied to the entire original ip packet or to all of the packet except for the ip header confidentiality is provided by an encryption format known as encapsulating security payload both tunnel and transport modes can be accommodated ikee defines a number of techniques for key management next we are going to see the ip security overview in 1994 the internet architecture board issues a report titled security in the internet architecture the report identified key areas for security mechanisms among this we are need to secure network infrastructure from unauthorized monitoring and control of network traffic and the need to secure end user to end user traffic using authentication and encryption mechanisms to provide security the iab included authentication and encryption as necessary security features in the next generation ip which has been issued as ipv6 fortunately the security capabilities were designed to be usable both with the current ipv4 and the future ipv6 this means that vendors can begin offering this features now and many vendors now do have some ip security capability in their products the ip security specification now exists as a set of internet standards next we are going to see the an ip security scenario in this ip security scenario enhancing electronic commerce security even though some web and electronic commerce applications have built in security protocols the use of ip security enhances that security it guarantees that all traffic designated by the network administrator is both encrypted and authenticated that means it is implemented as a firewall or router it provides strong security that can be applied to all traffic crossing the perimeter it can be transparent to end users there is no need to train users on security mechanisms issue keying material on a peer per user basis next we are going to see the ip security policy in this ip security policy here the uh, general concept security requirements definitions and mechanisms defining the ip security technology that means a security association is uniquely identified by three parameters security parameter index means a bit string assigned to this sa and having local significance only the spi is carried in ah and esp headers to enable the receiving systems to select the sa under which is a received packet will be processed here the ip destination address this is the address of the destination end point of the sa which may be an end user system or a network system such as a firewall or router security protocol identified this field from the outer ip header indicates whether the association is an ah or esp security association here we have some of the services access control connectionless integrity data origin authentication rejection of replayed packets confidentiality limited traffic flow confidentiality Uh, that means it can provide security for individual users if needed this is useful for offsite workers and for setting up a secure virtual subnetwork within an organization for sensitive applications thank you